right, hi everybody, this is Ben Sangrath. Uh, today in this screencast, we're gonna look at how to enter formulas and functions into uh, Google Spreadsheets. So the beautiful thing about spreadsheets is that you can enter these different uh, functions into the cells and make the spreadsheet do the work for you. So in this example, we're going to look at a sample gradebook and see how we can uh, force the spreadsheet to do the work for us. So here we have uh, an average column. So this is pretty typical of a gradebook in that we want to average up the four test scores that our students have um, have entered into, uh, or that we have entered into the gradebook here. So to do this, and to start out with doing a formula, uh, we want to click into the cell and then we start every formula out with putting in an equals sign. So I type in equals and now I'm immediately telling the sheet that I want it to do something. Uh, what's really cool about this is that Google starts to understand what we want to get out of our data. So I want an average here. So I'm going to type in equals and then I want to tell it what I want it to do. So if I type in average or start to type in average, A-V-E, there it is right there. So you can see average pops up. Now, you don't always type in like what you want it to do. So example, if I wanted to add up everything, in those columns. I wouldn't say equals add, I would use an equals sum. So those are different. You can see the full list of them um, in uh, Google's help area. Okay, but we're gonna go ahead and click average. So now it comes up equals average. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And now what I wanna do is I wanna tell it what data I want to average out. So you can see my numbers are not all in a row here because I have the letter grades in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start typing in the different cells that have that information in it. So I want to do B2, D2, F2, and H2. So I can say, here's my parenthesis is now open. So I start typing in the value. So I'll go B2 and then comma, D2, comma, F2, comma, H2. And then now I've got all of my four test scores in there. You can see they're all come up highlighted. And so all I have to do now to close this out is to put an end parenthesis on there. And so now it's told, I'm telling the sheet to average out B2, D2, F2, H2. I just hit enter and I get the average score of 43. So if I want to apply this to the rest of the sheet, it's really pretty straightforward. I just click on that. You can see the column or the, the formula comes up at the top here. I find this blue square in the bottom right hand corner. I put my crosshairs on it. And now I drag it down to the bottom and to the last row of the sheet. And when I do that, it averages out the rest of the columns for me. So it just copied that function all the way down. You can see as I click through all of these, I get the same function, but it's now updated to reflect the cells in that row. So I've done that. And now you can also see that I can actually go down here and I could average out each individual test score as well. So I could go down and enter the same function in. So I could do equals average and what's interesting about this and what google does is it starts to guess what you want to average out so like in this example here it's guessed that i want b2 through b26 so i'm gonna go ahead and click that and you can see that now it's highlighted this whole row so it's important here the reason why i bring this up is because if you look at this b2 and then they've got the colon b26 so that's basically saying everything in between b2 and b26 should be averaged I didn't do that on this column in column J because we had the letter grades in the middle. So I had to select the, each individual cell for that. But in this case, we have all of the scores are all numerical and they will all work. So we can do B2 colon B26 and hit enter. And now I've got an average. Notice it gives me a decimal point where this one over here did not. So if I wanna get rid of that, I can actually go up here to where you see these increase and decrease decimal places. So it's 43.88, but I actually want to bring that back. And now it goes to 43.9. And if I bring it back one more time, it rounds it up to 44. So that's how you can do that. Now I can simply, if I want to average out the rest of these columns, I can just copy this and then click on the column and hit paste and paste and paste. And then I can even average my average score out. And now I have averaged out all the columns and averaged the average. To make this look a little bit better, I could even color code these um, different up here and go ahead and fill these cells, maybe give it a little bit different tint, you know, that way I know that those are average jobs. So 
So that's a basic average uh, function in formula to put in. Anytime you're doing that, you can, anytime you're doing any sort of formula input, you do it in that same manner. So equals, and then the function that you want it to perform, and then the range that you want it to perform that in. And that's how you put in a formula. So thanks for watching.